10 disturbing Dr. Phil guests. Drop a like to this video if you love the Dr. Phil show. Hey there everyone, what's up and welcome back to the video on Film Read. Dr. Phil has had some pretty strange guests on his show. The kind of people that make us question everything we live for. I mean when you watch the show, it sometimes gets you thinking, what is going on in their heads? I hope you heard that correctly. But let's not delay. Here's another strange, disturbing list of guests Dr. Phil had on your show. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on anything. All right, let's get to it. Number 10, Student Affair. Apparently, according to this crackhead, having an affair with your student is not illegal at all. This 29-year-old teacher quickly became intimate with her 17-year-old student. They used to meet at the teacher's house and casually texted each other and also went out for dates. When things were discovered, the school kicked her out and she had some serious jail time on her rap sheet. Number 9. My dad is a white supremacist. Imagine your father looking at your child with a disgusting look. Poor Peyton has a racist for a father who not only blows up abortion clinics but is also a part of KKK. He was arrested for the explosions and served 9 years in prison but it gets worse. Her father refuses to acknowledge her half-black child, calling him an ape, a critter, and a monster. The sick man wears his racist brand as a badge of honor. Number 8. The Kidnapper So in this modern world of technology, physical kidnapping isn't the only thing you should be aware of. Ashley stole photos of a couple's twins and posted everywhere on her social media, pretending to be their mother. She claims that some past mistakes she was sent to prison, subsequently losing custody of the two girls. April, the mother, is scared to death that one day someone might steal her girls thinking they belong to Ashley. Ashley even has their framed pictures in her house and still believes they are her girls. Number 7. Cash Me Outside We all remember this meme, don't we? It turned into numerous jokes and rap songs. Danielle Bregoli appeared on the show four years ago and left with the infamous catchphrase, Cash Me Outside, How About That? Though the outside world gave her plenty of fame, she doesn't deserve it. She openly admitted to hitting her mother and threatened to hit her in front of the audience too. She also admitted to stealing credit cards and cars and using them on national TV. Number 6. Mom-Daughter Duo The sugar baby daddy culture is toxic and it needs to be called out. This mother-daughter duo seemingly goes on double dates with their sugar daddies and occasionally with only one sugar daddy. They claim they have never been physical but have occasionally stripped to their underwear for a man together. They both earn as much as $2,000 for a day and more than $5,000 for a week. Riley says she convinced her mother into this profession with her. If that doesn't make you sick, number 5. Pastor Polygamist Pastor Tom was 61 years old, already married, but he married a 19-year-old while still being married. He is a pastor. His new wife was pregnant with his child and his wife was okay with it. They all live happily together under one roof. Extraordinary! Number 4. Pregnant with Baby Jesus This just straight out screams crazy in bold cap letters. Haley was completely and utterly delusional. She not only claimed to be a child of Eminem, but she also believed that she was 9 months pregnant with Baby Jesus. Despite the doctors and her peers telling her otherwise, Haley was adamant on her beliefs and knew that she'll give birth to Jesus. She wasn't even named Mary. Number 3. The best anorexic. Jordan, an anorexic woman who weighed about 70 pounds, appeared on the show once. She was so thin, but she wanted to lose more weight. Her parents tried to turn the course of her life, but she despised her mother too much. She just simply enjoyed all the attention she got from them, and in general, everyone. She claims to be the best anorexic in the world, whatever that means. Number 2. Mackenzie's Tragedy Mackenzie's violent behavior was a problem for everyone around her. She not only hit her mother and punched her brother, but she also once threw scissors at her teacher. Her father made things worse as he beat this nine-year-old with his belt. Mackenzie tried to kill herself once by standing in front of the traffic. So disturbing. Her treatment is ongoing. Prayers for mother. Number one, heroin before the baby. Nikki, a junkie, eight months pregnant, is homeless and lives off prostitution in a van with her boyfriend. She puts the heroin before her baby. Her prostitution money is mainly for heroin for her boyfriend and herself. She even overdosed when she was seven months in and barely made it out, but that doesn't stop her at all. 
truly hopeless and despairing. Every one of them has a very alarming and disturbing story. Which one do you think should be put behind bars ASAP? This brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then let us know by liking the video. Stick around for more amazing content as we'll be soon seeing you in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.